Hello and welcome back to yet another Let's Play channel. I'm Vic and as you can see we're going to check out Journey to the Savage Planet. Uh, this is yet another game that I found out about because Jacksepticeye did like an episode of it. Uh, as usual, I cannot remember if he played more of it or not. Um, but it looked interesting so I picked it up and now here we are. Um, I think this is going to turn out to be sort of a Metroidvania, um, which I'm a little worried about because um, my primary experience with Metroidvanias has been Metroid Prime, which involved a whole lot of backtracking and head scratching about where to go next. Um, and that doesn't sound great, um, but I'll, I'll deal with that when it gets, when we get to it. If we get to it. Let's play a game. Yeah? Hmm. Old game minus. No, let's do normal. Off we go. Oh, there's a percentage completion tracker. That's good. I make no promises about 100%. And if you demand a promise, I'm going to promise... No, a hundred percent. So don't. I don't like that bobblehead. Hi, my name is Martin Tweed, President and CEO of Kindred Aerospace. Thank you for joining the Pioneer Program. For almost 30 years, Kindred has been striving to help humanity expand beyond the confines of Earth. And I am excited to announce that many industry observers now consider us the fourth best interstellar exploration company. From our humble beginnings, manufacturing batteries and solar arrays for use in extreme climates, to our line of athletic footwear and chic survival apparel, we have been continually striving to drive humanity further from the bottom of the oceans and now to the stars! Our next step is to move beyond pure exploration and into settlement, which is why you are here. Our scientists have identified several planets that may be fit for human habitation. Yours is... ERY26. Your job is to explore the planet's surface, catalog its creatures, threats, and opportunities, and send your data back to our crack team of scientists here at Kindred for analysis. The more you discover, the more we'll be able to guide your experience and highlight objectives for you and your partner, if you have one. I don't have one. I should also mention that while every effort has been made to ensure a comfortable and safe journey, recent budget challenges plus the Unknown natures of the obstacles you will face mean that we were unable to send you anything in the way of equipment. Oh. But don't stress, however, as your habitat comes equipped with a 3D printer that is more than capable of turning any old space trash you discover into useful items. One minor note. All the fuel in your javelin was used in the journey from Earth and the landing on your planet. You will need to discover a local resource that you can refine into an appropriate fuel. Unless, of course, you decide to spend the rest of your life off Earth. <laughs> but I don't want to take up too much of your time, and I'm sure you're very excited to explore. So I wish you good luck. We will send updates on your progress as you complete your scheduled surveys. Stay alive, and see you soon. That video reminded me of the Long-term space travel is not for everyone. Side effects from long-term space travel are uncommon, but can include headache, nausea, diarrhea, vomiting, dizziness, dysentery, chest pain, varicose veins, bloody stools, feeling of emptiness or hopelessness, osteoarthritis, hemorrhoid, diabetes, forgetfulness, gender confusion, spontaneous dental prolapse, mild discomfort, or death. If you notice any of these symptoms, please contact your kindred representative as soon as possible, and all efforts will be made to help and or rescue you. Note that current rescue time exceeds six months. Welcome. My name is Echo, and I'm here to help guide you on your mission. But first things first. Please log into the computer and fill out a teeny-weeny questionnaire, if you don't mind, so we can make sure you're not crazy. Uh, what if I am, though? 
What was I saying? I don't remember. Turns out I don't like the guy that the bobblehead is made of, either. Bill... Chunk? <laughs> Please take <laughs> For the love. questionnaire on the computer. Otherwise I can't open the door. I bet you or can. Or lights, or feed you. Relaunch Javelin. Why would I do that when I don't have any fuel? Always carry the kindred value system in your heart. Yep, still don't like it. Can't crouch. What's going on in there? Video games? Grob. <laughs> okay, you do know what a computer looks like, right? It's new old stuff, but look for the screen with the envelope icon on it. And log in so I can open the door. It'll be quick, I swear. I don't believe you. It looks like you made it. Good job. As per your Kindred Employee Experience Program Benefits contract, you are contractually obligated to submit regular reports during your mission. Let's begin. One of my jobs is to continually assess your mental state, and as space sickness has been an issue for some other recent explorers, could you please identify yourself from this gallery of faces? All right, as I recall, uh, Jack decided to be a dog. Uh, I think... Hmm. You know what? I like the I like the woman with the glasses and the blown out hair, so that's what we're gonna do. Thank you. I'm super glad you're not crazy. I don't remember what the reaction was for the dog, but he did actually make make dog noises as he played the game, so Thank for you for your time, explorer number, hash code. This is the end of the report. Wow. It was quite a report. Okay. Messages. <laughs> welcome to the first day on your great adventure. Of your great adventure. We could not be more excited to welcome you to Planet Name here. As a key member of Kindred's quest to explore the stars, it is imperative that brave people such as yourself turn over every rock, scan every blade of grass, and dig the precious crafting ingredients from the innards of every beast you encounter so that our database may grow and humanity may continue to expand across the infinite reaches of space. Humanity has been trapped on Earth for the entirety of its existence. We can be bigger. We can be more. Help us get there. Well, I approve of that message. Videos. No, I'm not watching that again. And now you're ready to explore. Please walk downstairs and step into the teleporter while I will discombobulate you and then recombine you outside on this glorious new planet. I think instead of recombining me, you should recombobulate me. Doesn't that just make more sense? Oh, it's icy. Wow. That tower looks... Supernatural, doesn't it? And by supernatural, I mean extremely so, natural. Uh, welcome to ARY-26. It doesn't seem to be, well, a planet at all, really. More than Nation of Rocks. This mission just got 100% more interesting and about 50% more lethal. Is hey, that good? In your exploration, the Javelin is equipped with several small robotic drones that can perform basic scans of the world around you. Please launch them by opening the exterior hatch. Fine. Couldn't crouch before, but I can now. Oh, there we go. I can sprint. Okay. Punch it. Punch it. Yeah. of resources and important info. The javelin's pretty banged up, but you'll need to scan the exterior to confirm the level of bang up -edness. Do that now. Ah, Rob, the only food in this universe that tastes exactly like it sounds. I don't know what that means. Oh, see? It is like Metroid Prime. Um...
Uh-huh. Ah, okay. That's not supposed to look like that. This machine will copy you into its memory, delete your body, and then print a copy of it five feet away. Very practical. Come on. Fuel tanks are intact, but empty. If you can find a local fuel source, you'll be able to get back home. If you can't, congratulations, you're home already. All right, is there more that I need to scan? I already scanned that. I think we're good. Oh, but I can scan this. So I think that's going to be one of the potentially frustrating things here is that I'm going to have to scan like everything. If I even want to approach 100%itude. These aren't reeds. Not tenta weeds, tenta reeds. Big difference. Do they tentacle me? No. To slap. Oh. Aww, it's chilly. They like me, apparently. Puffer birds may not look it, but they're salty as hell. They're drugs. But good drugs. For healing. Not fun. Oh. Do I need to collect? Hold E and release to power slap. Hey, look at that. You picked up some carbon. Good for you. Does that bother the rest of them? Doesn't doesn't seem to have bothered though. Alrighty. So what if I how do I A grenade. Hmm. I'm sure that the uh, overly friendly computer voice will tell me when the occasion arises. Do I need to slap all of those puffer things? I guess I probably should, right? They have things, and I need things. So, naturally. This appears to be an exterior panel from the javelin. It must have been knocked loose on landing. Okay. I bet I can't climb this. Oh, mantling. All right. And then we got these things. Excuse me. A charmingly fragile crystal structure. It's not that fragile, is it? Why is that glinty? Am I hurt? Is that one mad now? That one might be na mad now. I Eat won't it. lie. I feel kind of bad. They're so cute and so full of juice. You don't feel bad. I don't feel bad. Okay, I guess I didn't need that. Can I... Nope, there's nothing up there to get. Well, this appears to have been... Oh, you know what? I need to power slap the crystals. Yeah, that's what it is. Or not. Alright. Could be destroyed with enough force, but how much force is that? How do I grenade? I'm carrying grenade. But how do I grenade? Q. All right. Are there more of them already? Oh, wow, these guys respond fast. Huh. 
How much carbon do you think I need? Probably a lot more than that. All right, and it's Q to grenade, so... So much for an earth-shattering kaboom, am I right? Can I get up for this way? Nope. Maybe now that I have some carbon, I can 3D print or something. Might as well refill my not a grenade. All right, computer, um, it's been real. How about we go to some other planet? you return to the javelin, you automatically deposit any resources you were carrying. Anything you drop outside the javelin, however, will stay there until you go and grab it with your meat hands. Neat. Rob, the grab and go superlicious mega morphological food base from Suckage Farms. The universe is number four seven three. Can't slap. A whole lot juicier. Weapon. Can't weapon. All right. Um. Oh, I can item? Do I already... I must already own it. Right? Yeah. Okay. I'm still not watching that video. Get out of here. Maybe I need to get the critters. Ambient temperature 81 degrees. Biosigns nominal. 81 degrees? But it's a freaking ice cave. How is it 81 degrees? Wait, why is there a beacon? could be destroyed with enough force. Yes, but how do I enough force? Hmm? So I got these guys. What happens if... Mm -hmm. That doesn't seem to have done anything for us. Oh, good. So I don't need to slap them around to get the carbon out of them. That's what I just learned. Can I get over there? Oh. You guys go over there, please. Keep going over there. Oh. Ouchies. Doesn't seem to have worked, does it? Hmm. Well, we're off to a really good start, aren't we? Hey, you, go over there. Oh, I'm out of grenades, too. <laughs> Not what I wanted. But. Wow! That one was juicy! Bonus loot. Oh. Oh, wow. That was bonus loot. Can I do something with that? Now that I have carbon and silicon? Maybe I can make silicone now. I don't think so. Oh, I wonder if I can turn that crap off. What? Wait. What? What? Still don't have anything there. No. No. Nope. 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 Nothing. 
Okay. Well, let's do the Z thing and see what it has to say for itself. Ambient temperature, 112 degrees. Biosigns, nominal. 112? How fast is this place heating up? I still have stuff over here I'm supposed to do? Oh, cool. And that's where the lonely panel we found earlier belongs. The javelin is basically intact, but in need of minor repairs. If we ever want to relaunch. You know, oh, the cartographers found an alien alloy we could maybe use to repair the ship. Let me mark it. Nice work! You already have the required amount of carbon to craft a highly functional base level Nomad Plasma Pistol. The 3D printer inside the javelin is ready for your implant. You can craft an upgrade, if you wanna. Well, I'd better, because I'm pretty sure that... I do need to figure out how to turn the ads off. Holy crap. Print. Now you've got a weapon. The single most important tool for any colonizer. Where is it? Is it in my inventory? I hope it is. I'm just gonna leave. I'm gonna leave so I don't have to listen to that noise. Yeah, gun. Ambient temperature 81 degrees. Biosigns nominal. All right. Now I can crystals, right? Yeah. I hope the ammo is unlimited. All right, we got a platform. Because it is a Metroidvania, so... You know, that looks sort of reminiscent of the uh, Fortress of Doom or whatever it's called. Oh, don't forget to scan. Always be scanning. It may sound weird, but do you see a large tower looming above you? I only ask because my system appears to be functioning correctly, but our initial scan said there should be no sign of intelligent life here at all, and that appears to directly contradict this idea. I will contact your superiors immediately. One moment, please. Looks to be a plant that's anchored itself to the environment. If you have a grapple, this is where you'd fire it. I'm working on a blueprint for you now. This plant's berries are edible and slightly hallucinogenic. As with all edibles, take it slow. <laughs> Nice. See, we found some fun drugs to go along with our not fun drugs. That's good. I have received an urgent message regarding the tower from our president and CEO, which is available for your viewing pleasure at the habitat. Please return as soon as you have a moment. I have no intention of watching more videos from him, but we'll see how it goes. Now that's metal. Give me the metal. That thing you picked up looks disgusting. And squishy. And bouncy. Give that to me. Why? Why? <sighs> Disgusting and squishy and bouncy. Remind you of anything? Oh. That wasn't the button I meant to press. Okay. Gimme. Can I? Why am I not picking these up? Ooh. That's pretty wild. Uh, I don't know if that's a good thing. What do we got in here? Fascinating. Pick. The seeds you just picked up appear to belong to the limpid like plants we saw earlier. I wonder what they grow on. It's a vein of pure aluminum. Can I? Ah. Mining is easy. That's good. I don't why why am I not picking all those up? Uh. Oh. 
okay. So I can use those to make jump pads and grapple points. When grapple points become something that matter to me. Alright, so I'm not picking them up because I've already filled my capacity for them. Or something. What else have we got going on around here? Something interesting going on up there. I am detecting a nearby organic compound which may be useful on our exploration efforts. Please scan it. All right. With your oxygen supply may allow me to tweak its impact on your biology, which would in turn allow you to be more attuned to the local climate. Long-term impacts are unknown, but ingestion is, of course, completely your decision. So it's going to be like an energy tank or something. Give me. Please remain calm. I am monitoring your physical response. All is as predicted. I am adjusting your health and biofeedback to reflect your improved suitability to the chemical mix. I salute your continued embrace of adventure. Hell yeah. Find strange planet. Eat strange things you find on planet. That's a recipe for a good time. <laughs> so I guess if I want some more carbon, I could feed these guys, but... Hmm... Is that, is that the same skull? Can I? I can. These remains are a hell of a lot older than anything else we've found on this planet. Well, yeah, they're the only fossils we've found so far. Secret nearby. Ooh. Gimme. There are a hundred alien goos. Give me all that. When do I get the upgrade that lets me pick stuff up from further away? This alien door proximity seems to respond door. To your energy signature. A big electric jolt should disable its mechanism for a while. I'll update your compass if the cartographers find anything to do just that. That upgrade would be very useful indeed. I have sent a request to Kindred, but we have yet to locate the required resources on this planet. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Tuned. Oh, they're jumping on the bounce pad. <laughs> That's fun. Alrighty. There's a beacon over there for me to go to. What happens if I... Does that make you mad? Oh, they've got goodies. Well, I have some bad news for those things. Can I shoot this? Doesn't care. Alrighty. Did I scan you? I scanned you, right? Or you weren't scannable. Well, I'm thinking that I'm gonna have to get that grapple mod real soon. But I see another upgrade over there. So why don't we go check that out? Gimme. I'm gonna have so many energy tanks by the time we're done. Good news is those things you ate made you way harder to kill. 
Bad news is you're harder to kill because most of your bones have been replaced with rock-hard space tumors. Good news, potential partners dig tumors. Or so I hear. What kind of potential partners are you talking to? Alright, new area. And all out of time for episode one. Come back and see me again in episode two, and we will explore the verdant whatever the hell that just said. Talk to you soon. That looks like fun, doesn't it?